He's got it. Uh, what a pleasant morning. Oh, it's you. You know, that poor pet of yours may seem perfect, but it could be even more perfect. Uh, we have back the lab. No, you just said that. Uh, come on, goggles. Are you even listening to me? Oh, uh, yes. Sorry, you were saying? I was saying that I want to go investigate the depths. Look, if you're not gonna listen to me, I'll go and jump into the castle myself. No way, no how. You can do that. And that's are far too vast for you to explore on your own. And we've only barely begun to look into them. I love to go gallivanting around down there too. Who knows what wonders are at the bottom of, the, of those chasms. But no matter how wondrous they may be, it's far too dangerous for you. I'm not about to allow our young prodigy to go wandering around somewhere so unknown and so foul. Uh, if anything were to happen to poor us favorite student, it'd be the end of for me. The end. But I need more than that figure. If, uh, if we have more info into it, then it should help us better understand, understand the depths. What figure? Oh, sorry, man. Sorry, I didn't mean to leave you out of the conversation. And just now we got an introduction. Yeah. Let me get you up to speed. Our survey team brought back some artifacts from a journey into the depths. Oh, it's okay. They are going and coming from there. One of them caught my eye. I thought they were more looking from above. Oh. This piece of slay specifically the image depicted on it. Hmm. I see that figure is standing on two legs with one arm raised up. Well, I have a theory. I think it could be evidence that the mysterious people once lived in the depths. A uh, hey, mysterious people, different from the zone. Uh -huh. uh, that's why I want to go down there so I can see if there are any more depictions like this one. I want to see for myself. Magalos here says it's too dangerous and you won't let me go. Yosha, come on. No. Oh, I'll complete the whole panel there. Uh, tell you what now. I'll, I'll go down there myself and see if I can find anything about the figure on the slate. A link will join me. We'll start by looking for anything down there that resembles the figure on the slate. Assuming we find what we're looking for, we will use your Pura Pets camera to take a picture of it for Josh. A perfect plan. Camera? You don't know about the camera. It's one of the Pura Pets basic features. With a camera, you can capture nearby scenery as image, one that's stored in your pad there. Those likes to have more to learn about Pura Pet. Well then, I'll teach you how to take pictures, once we're down there anyway. There will be lots of monsters in the depths so, so I'll be counting on you to keep me safe. Let's see, I guess we should enter through the chasm to the south of local lane. I'll go ahead. Once you're ready and ready to go, come find me there. Ta-da! Wait, hang on. I left already. So I have to go there to get the camera. <sighs> Looks like he's gone. I'm sorry I got robbed, robbed into all this, swordsman. Goggles means well, but when he wants to help me, he leaps before he looks. Yeah. But here, take the maybe this will help you out at least. Oh, huh. okay. No, I think this too. Is it dark down there? Too dark down there. The chasms are pretty deep, so light from the surface doesn't make down there. It's pitch black. But if you attach a bribe on C to an arrow and shoot it, it will light up the area. Definitely a use of a trick down there. Okay. You, know, you want to head straight out to the local lane southern gate. You'll find the chasm goggles used just outside. Uh, I don't know too much about how your camera works. But I'm calling on you to bring me that picture. Oh, and please, 
look after goggles for me. So I do have a camera. I just don't know how to. Ah, <laughs> I just don't know how to use it. Well, <laughs> where's Robbie? Am I supposed to go down there? Robbie go. Oh, so he's already going. Wow, it's pretty dark. Ah. Are you Link? Pleasure to meet you. I am Ponic from the Sonic Survey team. Robbie told me to guide you to him once you arrived. Ah. But he rushed along with such haste that I didn't bring enough bribe seeds. And now I run out. There's only one here. How? You just brought one? So I lost sight of him. Oh. I thought he was taking a short walk over to that glowing area over there. He, then he just kept going. And going. And unless I saw him, he was heading way out there, off to the west. Do you have any bright blue seats? I do. Ah. Oh, that's great news. Uh, if I said I don't, would you give me more? No, you said it didn't happen anymore. Uh, light from the surface doesn't reach down here, as you might have noticed. You'll be risking your life to wander here without a light source, you know? You can easily get bribe seeds from caves and they'll light up stuck. Uh, so they're pretty easy to use too. We use the seeds all the time on the Zona Survey team. The simplest way is to throw them with her hand. Oh, we can just... Oh. Ah. Those of us killed us with a bow, we will attach them to arrows and fire them off into the distance, don't we? Okay. Oh. If you are going to explore that, take plenty of those seeds with you. Ah, holes here. Ah. Oh, okay. That's why I throw a bomb. This is for my hand. I should have rushed here. Deep Firefly, a multi-winged insect that lives in the depths. It excretes luminescent elements that can be cooked into an elixir, which will add a faint glow to anyone who consumes it. Hmm. It's a light wood. So I can light the whole depth. Cool. Dispel the darkness and brighten the surrounding area. No, oh, hang on. Ah, does it heal me as well? Hey, you. It's really dark down here. Not one bit of light gets here from the surface. Even with my goggles, I can hardly see. I really should have brought some bright bloom seeds with me. As one of the few sources of light, there are the glowing roots growing down from above, 
and it's piqued my curiosity. I'm not sure what it is, but it looks harmless enough. This place is roughly under the shrine of the surf on the surface. Hmm. Anyway, I'm off to the glowing route. I see spin shining west of here. So you better hurry up and get moving. Oh, I didn't notice it was in the same spot. Shio Sin. Nyoji. Okay, so all of them will be the inverted decks. What a bud. A white flower with a purple odor that can disorient and confuse, making it difficult to tell friend from foe. Hey, you still alive? Looks like this place is swimming in gloom. Uh, get too close to that stuff and you're asking for trouble. If a guy didn't have any bright blooms, it'd be curtains. Then again, it's my first time down here and I haven't kicked the bucket, so I'm sure it'll be fine. I just spotted something of interest through my goggles. It's shaped like a f the figure Joshua wants us to find it. I'll be co continuing to head west towards one of the, those glowing roots I see ahead. See you soon. Okay. Oh. I don't have that many. Yeah. Okay, at least I don't have the ones I expect. arm. A skeletal arm that keeps moving even after it's severed from its body. It kind of grows to strap it on your back, but you do in a pinch. It's old and fragile, so it's quick to break. <laughs> You went all the way back there. Oh, dent! 
Oh, I won't be able to heal with that. Bumbling horn. A hard horn that resulted from a scomotation attach it to a weapon to increase its attack power or cook it with a creature to make an elixir Bokobo a basic bokobin bow made of wood it's made by taking any tree branch and just tying a string to either end so don't expect much in the way of combat effectiveness Lards on night. As a knight of especially high purity, the amount of energy concentrated in it allows for much higher power output than regular Zonite. Mushroom. A mushroom that spreads a cloud of fine spores when a stimulus is applied. The bitter powder makes it them inedible. Aerocuda. Oh, so that was a new type of enemy. I don't remember that from other Zeldas. Wing. A large, wide Aerocuda wing. Arrows and throw weapons fly farther with this item attached. Even with a slight wind. Aerocuda eyeball. This eyeball is constantly trying to focus on its target. Cook it with a creature to make an elixir or attach it to an arrow to bring a homing quality to the arrow. Uh, yeah, that as an ingredient for food would probably just make an elixir. But it would make sense if, if that granted the effects of the elixir. Oh! I don't know, Link should fight homing arrows for a while. A bit delayed. Ah, good. What? Oh, I should have spoken to you before. Look how bright that thing got. The light down in this dark is not really refreshing. Mm, in fact, it's so luminous, it's almost like... Like we're on the surface. Uh, just standing here, it makes me feel so much better. How strange. Hey, it's you. You're finally here. I need to show you what I found. Oh! This statue, it's staying tall onto your legs, one arm raised high. It looks an awful like the figure Josh showed us on that piece of slate, don't you think? Alright, get a camera of yours ready. It's time to put it to work. Alright, I forgot that you hadn't used the camera when you, we last spoke. 
Oh, I'm very curious indeed. Give me each one of the pura pets based features. Mm, give me that pura pet for a second, alright? Oh, uh, there's the problem. Your camera is locked, and so is your hero companion. Hang on. If I remember correctly, you press this while you pull this, and then you tap that, and. Capture images using Purapad. You can save them to the album. Mm -hmm. Boom. Now you should be able to use both the camera and your hard companion. So go capture that picture of the statue. And this is a good chance to verify that it's working properly too. Test it out. Experience is the best teacher after all. Once you've captured the image, come back here. I want, I want to see how it looks. Um, statue raise art. Hmm. Hey you, how'd that go? You've captured an image of that statue with your camera. They ain't heard yet, and you show it. Show me. I like to see how it looks. So, did you get a good picture? Stupendous. Uh, looks like you've captured it well. I'm sure Josh will be satisfied with this. Uh, lining up that main rules, getting us a picture of the statue. We just started helping us research what's down here. But soon enough, we are going to have even more to investigate. Well then, it's time to head back to the surface. <laughs> uh, see you at the local landing. Don't make Joshua wait too long for the picture. <laughs> oh, it's holding... Oh, I didn't see the other one. What species is that? They look like taller mogimas. And I also find that. Oh! Little frogs. Oh. Little frogs. Oh. Uh. That's a very young frog makes up for its diminutive size with powerful legs and by attacking in large numbers. Okay, now I better heal. Stop cobbling. Hmm. Create her forest, get rid of the desert depths. I'm not there. This remains of the cobblings hate light and only move about in the dark. While they are fragile enough to crumble from a single blow, they have sharp horns, and as long as the skull remains intact, they'll continue to pull themselves back together and go on fighting. Oh, those lights. They look like spirits. Oh, a pole! A glowing spirit orb fall all over the depths. Uh, offer this to a bargainer statue for a variety of rewards. A bargain bargainer statue, so there is more than one. Okay, let's, let's just open that and then go back to the surface. Nick 
Caía, ó. Vender com tinho? Eu não tinha bom. Só. Let's talk to. To her. It's probably part of a quest and stuff. And I'm just following them. Hey! You're new. So they finally did it. Ah! Uh, well, look at this. You're the one I saw flying around the sky. It's great to meet the first one to ever be launched from a sky tower, a sky view tower. A real historic moment. Uh, uh, what's the name? Mm, Link, you say. Hold on there. Really? Your name is Link? Uh, hey, buddy. <laughs> Uh, you've got the same name as the famous swordsman. <laughs> Good for you. Pretty big name to live up to, though. Oh. I'm Pen. Uh, by the way, I work for the Lucky Clover Gazette. Uh, I thought you were like a postman. Ah, oh, you have there some Lucky Clovers. I'm writing an article about this event so folks everywhere will know about the Skyview Towers being activated. I'd better get to work. Our newspaper is short on staff, so I've had to flap all over the place to cover the news. Hey, we could use another reporter. You should join us. You seem like a brave type and all. That's what it takes. Ah. Our newspaper is based in Hem Hebron, so to the northwest. You'll find it near the bridge that leads to Rito Village. Stop by if you're up to if you're up for an adventure of a lifetime. In the newspaper piece. Until then, so long. I thought we just couldn't fly, only soar through the sky. And that's what made Brevali and Teba special. Success. Hey, you. Show Joshua the picture you took of the statue. The figure matches up pretty well and looks darn cool too. Hey! Uh, this is it. This does match what's on the fragment. Yeah. Thanks, Sourceman. Just like on the slates, this figure must be showing people of some sort, whoever they were. Which confirms my theory that people lived in the depths. I'm sure we'll find more traces of them if we keep searching. This is a big, big, big discovery. Well, now what's next? The possibilities. There's so much more to research. Oh, but before I focus on that, there's something I want to give you as thanks for helping with this stage of my investigation. Our earlier surveys of the deaths found all of this. What do you think it's for? Uh. Hmm. I feel as if this contains some kind of strange power, like maybe it's energy for something. Anyway, they might help you in your search for Princess Zelda, so hopefully you will find them useful. Whoa. Ah, they're the ones that were back there. It's empty now. Uh, that fragment has helped us see the depths in a new way. Now we're closer to understanding one of its mysteries. I'm going to sift through everything that our survey have brought uh, brought back from the from down there. Maybe there are even more fragments that can I can piece together. Goggles, swordsman. <laughs> Thanks so much for in going to investigate the depths for me. Let's get to the lab. Mm. Oh, ah, oh, the propel. Proper manual, read the proper instructions uh, about the map. If you can, if you can surround it terrain using Skyview Tower, you can resist the map with your proper path. Additionally, you can travel instantly to the location of Skyview Tower that you've already resisted by selecting it. This heading instant travel to a registered location feature has been double travel by its clever inventor, Pura. Uh, about pictures, open up the camera and point the Pura pad at the desired target. 
do so and you can save the target scenery or, or farm in your OS picture. Additionally, your pad can provide data on horoscopic system. The subjects reflected in a picture will be automatically identified, giving you the thrill of filling out your companion. What a venture log. A record of information gained during your travels and things you shouldn't forget, which can be perused at any time. This information is organized in categories, so you have to select a category first. Okay, summary. No sense that much. Oh, is that me using for me? I am. I forgot about that. I am the one who returned both to the afterlife where they belong. Offer both. Pose. Pose are beautiful beings have lost their way home and wandering the depths of this line. Good, evil, that's a filter perspective of narrow minded beings. So, like, Ganon is an evil. Uh, there, there is no such distinction in modern spirits. You have already obtained pose, she's a pole for you. Oh, yes, this is indeed a pole. I have returned the lost spirit to the afterlife where it belongs. How do I know you just didn't eat it? Since I was brought here to the surface, uh, I have been unable to return both to the afterlife. Because of you, I can assist them once again. You should take this. Dark clump. An unusual substance, it's cold to the touch. It seems as though it's filled with pitch black darkness. Use it in cooking to get a gloom resistant effect. Uh, if you offer more poles, I'll give you suitable compensation. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Ah, so we don't have... We don't have Kyoto anymore. I think I'm going to be more of a pose, a strange statue. It's a red category of food was worn by... Okay. I thought maybe it would give me more resistance. No, I'll save for the tunic. My brethren was spirits residing statues far larger than mine. Are in the depths of this land. Oh, if you encounter my brethren, try offering poles to them. Where are they? If you offer me 10 poles, I'll tell the location of my. Oh, no. Maybe another time. I don't have that many now. I forgot about my horse. You are still here. Good. Oh, a loop in the wild like that. Green rupee, a single rupee, it's soft green glows, put a smile on your face. Blue rupee, five rupees, it's shining blue, facets make you weak in the knees. Ah, uh, in the previous one, I think rupees were grabbed like that, like regular items. That's the statues. Uh, after the upheaval, these monsters began appearing in harvest of cave existence. They have sturdy horns that are perfect for crushing rocks and strong muscles that allows them to traverse cave walls and ceilings as easily as if they were walking on the ground. They often came from ceilings waiting for prey. Oh! Ooh. Horn, uh, an elongating hammer shaped horn with a hard flat front attached to a weapon to increase attack power or cook with a creature to make an elixir. This seems good for breaking rocks. 
This looks good for breaking rocks, if it actually is. I have to test. Choo choo. And this low level gel based monster can be found all over heaven. It tends to spring its attacks on unsuspecting prey from the ground or from trees. Its strength varies by size and the type of jelly it drops varies depending on whether the Chuchu was heated up, cooled down, or shocked. Let's see Halberd Spear. Uh, never a spear carried by travelers for protection. It's decayed and doesn't cut well, but the shape makes it easy for anyone to handle. Come here, Hops. Bright cap. Um, mushroom that grows in caves and contains luminescent enzymes. Cook it in a dish to give a glowing effect to anyone who eats it. Deposit. This deposit contains uh, a good deal of ore. Breaking the rock will yield rock salt, flint, and other ore and minerals of varying value. Rock salt, crystallized salt from the ancient sea, commonly used in, to season meals, can be eaten in this form. No, anything can be eaten. Special things or the ones. Spear. Oh no 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 no! Oh, I pressed it. I didn't notice it was a lizard <laughs> with the shape of the head. Sticky lizard. Uh, well, it's a bit of waste, but I'm pretty sure I can. Okay. No, they just... Yeah, I destroyed them. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, frog. Bubble frog, these mysterious creatures dwell in the caves all around the world. They like to stay hidden and will spill bubbles when threatened. When overcome, they disappear and leave behind mysterious objects. Truffle. This rare mushroom has a rich scent, it will restore your oil hearts and temporarily increase your maximum hearts when used in cooking. Sticky lizard. The suction of its toes allow this lizard to easily cleanse the wall. Uh, it could be an asset for a climber on wet surfaces. Oh, if it were mixed into a elixir. Oh, that's good. What's an anchor? An anchor cooked with direct heat, its nutty aroma has been amplified. Let's take a picture of you. Uh, this can most often be found on planes. 
Their usefulness as transportation has made them valuable since ancient times. That said, wild horses do tend to get spooked and run off when approached. So if you're looking for a to snag one, it's best to sneak up on it. Ah, you again. Mm -hmm. Well, since you're not gonna use whatever I'm placing here anyway. So, thanks for your help earlier. I'm putting present shields here too, but I can't stay here forever. I've got many more sites spread around. I don't know what to do. Try to let me go. And he's gonna spawn you. Alright, let go. He's staying. That's good enough. How's the person staying? That was brilliant. So, we never have made fun of it. Alright, let's get screw what's still staying. Right here, got faster. I think this is the same as before. Perfect. With your help, as it has a thin problem for me, please. Because my heart's dry, see him on the next Oh, oh. Look at this. I think it's my rupee. <laughs> Must be hung off all that hard work. Another one. Oh, no, I think the previous one wasn't hasty. I think it was just veggie rice balls. Uh, I don't feel like things to enough. We have some from premium collection. Hmm. Okay, I'm off. Okay. Hmm, there's one there. Let's stop there. Oh. oh, wait. What? Every mean. Okay, that's new. A monster that mimics tree, a tree, found throughout the forest of Aharu. These imposters are hard to differentiate from the genuine article, making it easy for them to team up and pounce on a suspecting passerby. Um, because of the species, the species share characteristics with trees, it can be chopped down in much the same way. Yeah, how does it attack me? Chicolo tree nuts. Small birds love this nut. You can eat it raw for a minor effect, effect, but it can also be added as a spice to other recipes. Oh yeah, I can eat pictures of that as well. Right? Cork phones. Uh, I think I'm gonna throw that away and get that. Sturdy thick stick. A solid stick cut from the crooked branch of a tusk tree. It has high durability despite the way it looks. And they now can... No, not that. It's that. Rusty... Ah, a well. A well. Huh. A hole dug in the earth that draws water from underground. It can be found in stables, towns, and sometimes even ruins. Home to a variety of unique fauna and flora. I didn't know every well would be like that. Just the cowbirds. Crossbow arm likely used by knights from an age past. The uh, spearhead is in bad shape due to the prolonged exposure to the elements, so it's a bit slow. No, oh, I was going to check it here. First. Traveler Surge. There, it's open. 
Oh. Come on, Gustav. Well. Mm, that's here because it's on our way to Rito Village. Oh. Like, like. A monster that has been appearing all over Harrow in recent days. Found only in caves and other dark places, it has an appetite for swords and shields. If you get too close, it may lunge at you with its mouth wide. Right. Swallow you whole and eat your equipment. The tongue in the center of its mouth is very sensitive. Attack it to make the creature falter. I want to take picture of the like like ball, like like stone. I don't remember what that does anymore. Uh, I'll save the picture for a better chest. So there's ball. Try to shoot. Sturdy shield loved by many adventurers. Uh, it is made of animal hide and sturdy wood and is best suited to, to defending against weak monsters or animals. Glowing cave fish, a luminous fish that lives in dark caves. When consumed, its light enzyme can make one's body glow. Hmm, can I climb from here? Yeah, that's bad. No, no, no. Ah. You should duck. It's just that we've got any talk there. A windy device. Hmm. Can I restart? <laughs> no, that's what I wanted to check. If it could over. Let's see how fast it goes. 
I know this isn't, but... It wasn't much better. Back to HP. Fast. No, I don't you fall. Yeah. 